I am Dr. Marissa Haig and the owner of Black Label Farms and we are out here working our cows today and so I wanted to show you how we put in our Richie tags. If you guys haven't seen our beautiful no fade black and white tags, um, we get them from Richie. And so I'm going to get all set up today. I have my tagger, I have my Richie tags and I'm going to pull out some of our custom names, the ones with our brands. We love these tags, they're no fade, they hold up well, we've been really really happy with them. And so some of the first things that I tell people that they should need for tagging is one, a good tagger. I really like the ultra, ta ultra tagger with the Richie pin. And it's really important if you're gonna use these Richie tags and you're gonna use their clover buttons to make sure that you have their pin that works with their, their back. And so make sure that you have that. These are the clover buttons um, that we use with our Richie tags. Goes right there and slips nicely onto their pin and then our custom made tags from Richie. We're gonna put in the tagger. Again, you can put this on the left or the right, so you can swap that tag around in the position depending on which side of the animal that you're tagging from. One thing I encourage if you guys have not tagged calves before is to get a feel for what it takes to actually squeeze the tagger to put it all the way through the ear. And the other thing I encourage people to do is to actually feel what it feels like to unclip that tag. So after you tag the animal, to pull the tagger away from the tag and what it feels like to come unclipped. All right, so where do we actually place a tag? Well, cows have two veins in their ear and they run in these little ridges that you can see here in the ear. So we want to punch between the two of those. Here I'll show you, this calf already has a hole in their ear from a near tag, and you can see it's about in the middle, one third of the ear between those two ridges. I'll show you here again, you have the two ridges, you wanna punch between those in the middle, one third right where my thumb's at, right there. So here, Chex is gonna be a good boy while we tag him real quick and show you the proper placement. And then make, make sure and check that that tag is nice and snug with the back, looks great. Again, there's that hole again. It's between those two ridges in the one, middle one-third of the ear. Yeah, good boy checks. So again, we love these no-fade Richie tags. We use them in all of our cattle, and we've had great luck with them. I encourage you to go check them out. Thanks.